Good morning, um, everyone. We today we are doing section two point four circles. Um, we will do several objectives. We will write the standard form of the equation. Standard form of the equation. of a circle and we will do um, we will graph a circle graph a circle and also work with um, general form of the equation general form of the equation Of a circle so we will do all these objectives today so let's start with the circle what is the definition of circle I mean everybody knows this is a circle it's round but it's a set of points in the X Y plane that are fixed distance or from a fixed point H K the fixed distance or this distance is always fixed this uh, point is always fixed you know that that's a center this fixed distance is radius and the fixed point is called the center of the circle so every time uh, the, uh, the the center this point which is the center of a circle is going to be XY like an order pair but specifically for the circle um, the variables that we use is h and k h is x and k is y value okay so standard form of the equation of the circle is um, this is x minus h whole squared plus y minus k whole squared equal r squared so the standard form of equation of an equation of a circle with radius r in the center h k is this so uh, the theorem that we have um, the standard form of equation of a circle of radius r with the center at the origin 0 0 we have a different formula for that so like the theorem said the standard form of equation of a circle radius r with the center at origin I'm just gonna write a formula with the origin 0 0 okay if you have origin like the um, the center is origin uh, let's do center is at the origin the center at the origin which means 0 0 then this is your formula because we plug in 0 here we plug in 0 because the center is 0 0 right x and y h and k we're going to left with x square plus y square equal r square mm. okay so the unit circle if the radius r is equal okay this goes here okay if the radius r is equal 1 the circle whose center is at the origin is called the unit circle and has an equation x squared plus y squared equal 1. So if the radius is 1 and the center is at origin the same way like 0, 0, then the unit circle uh, is going to be x squared plus y squared equal 1 okay let's do examples for this now now we already know when our origin our center is zero zero that's our uh, equation and the unit circle equation is right here i can write here unit circle where the radius is one okay uh, let's do these equation these um, questions uh, and see if we can we can do that now I'm going to use a different color. It says write the standard form of the equation of the circle with the radius 6 and the center negative 2, 5. This is h, that's k, because they said that's the center. 
and radius is 6. So the standard form of the equation that we have is right here. I'm going to write that x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole squared equal r squared. Now plug in whatever we have right now for h, for k, for radius. So x minus um, h was negative 2, so negative 2 whole squared plus y minus k is 5 whole squared. Radius is 6, so 6 squared. Now let's fix this. These two turn positive, x plus 2 whole squared plus y minus 5 whole squared equal 36. So they said write the standard form of the equation and this is my standard form of the equation of the circle. Okay, now next question is, this one, they said graph, uh, this is a standard form of the equation you can tell, but they said graph this equation. So first of all, we have to, uh, in this equation, um, the to graph it, we're going to compare the equation to, equa to a standard equation, which is right there. Uh, so let's figure it out what we are talking about here. Okay, in this case, if it's if we know our equation is x minus h whole squared plus y minus k whole squared equal r squared now this one i'm going to do just once to show you why i'm getting here uh, h and k h negative one and k positive one i'm going to show you that and then after this i'm not repeating this over and over okay so i have x minus Okay, you know negative and negative turn positive, right? Negative times negative is going to be positive. Since this is positive, then it means that I have actually negative 1 whole squared plus y minus, and now the k is negative 1, right? So technically it's a positive 1. And the radius was 3 squared because this has already been squared. They didn't put the square there, which means it's already squared. So let's change that to x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square equal 9. If you guys pay attention, they are exactly the same. That's the reason when we have uh, x plus 1, then we say, okay, this h is negative 1. Okay, the center, and if this is k that's negative, then we're gonna say like mi minus on the left side, this is positive on the left side, then I'm gonna say that's positive one. So this is the center, okay, of the circle. Now the radius, I already said that's uh, r equal three, right? So radius is equal three. Now let's use these uh, two of the information and then we're going to graph our circle. So let's try negative 1 and 1. It's the center. This is negative 1. That's positive 1 right there. Radius is 3. Radius means the distance from the center to the point um, on the circle, right? So 1, 2, 3. And if you remember, I said this uh, distance, radius is fixed um, distance. So if from here... To the top it's three to the right it's going to be three two one two three to the bottom it's three one two three to the left is three one two three now we're going to draw our circle uh, the circle is right there i'm going to try my best okay so if we can do just that first and then we can extend right there you go. Excellent. So that's my circle and that's how we're going to draw it, right? Any point up here from the center is going to be a fixed distance. So this is how we graph this equation. Okay. Now, another question that I have is right here. It says, find the intercepts if any of the following, uh, if any of the graph of a circle is x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square equal 9. They said find the intercepts. And intercepts, this means 
Uh, remember I said when they use the word intercept, just uh, quickly write down your order pairs like X intercept and Y intercept. This is my X intercept, which is going to be this. And it says my Y intercept is this. X intercept means Y is always zero. Y intercept means when X is always zero. Okay, this is what it means. I see the word intercepts then I just write my order pair like this. Just make it a habit. It will help you. So let's try and use... Uh, y intercept first. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug in wherever I see my y. Uh, I mean my. Okay, this is x intercept I'm looking for first. Okay, never mind because I already wrote it down. So x intercept, the x stays in the y is zero equal nine. So it's gonna give me x plus one whole squared equal. Um, not equal plus plus uh, negative one times negative one is going to give me positive one equal nine then I have x plus one whole squared I subtracted one both sides and I got eight this is cancel now I have to get rid of the square so I need this x for the x intercept I mean, uh, yeah, I need x for the x-intercept. So to get rid of the square, I'm going to square root that. And I'm going to square root both sides. So square and square root cancel out. I'm left with x plus 1, square root 8, right? So you know it is not a perfect square. So 2 times 4, I find my factors. Then I have x plus 1 still. 4 is a perfect square. It's going to go outside. The other 2 stays under the square root and we know that the answer we get for the square root is positive and negative now i'm subtracting one both sides right this is going to give me x equal uh, negative one positive negative two square root two that's my x intercept okay um, you can um, you can change this to decimal but it has to be two answers like you're gonna plug it in the calculator negative 1 plus 2 square root 2 you will get some decimal then you're gonna plug in negative 1 minus 2 square root 2 and you will get another answer so your answer 1 is negative 1 is positive okay uh, but I'm gonna leave it like that that's my x intercept let's do the uh, Okay, so let's try our um, y-intercept now. So again, any, anywhere I see x, I'm going to plug in my 0 equal 9. So plug in x and 0. That's 1 squared y minus 1 equal 9, and that's squared. Now I have 1 plus y minus 1 whole squared equal 9. So this is going to give me y minus 1 whole squared. And I subtract 1 both sides and I got 8 again. Then I have to square root that. So y minus 1 equal 2 square root 2 positive negative. Now this time I'm adding 1, right? So if I add 1, I will get y equal uh, 1 positive negative 2 square root 2. And I'll leave it at that. Okay, this is how you do it. Now, general form of the equation of a circle. What is the general form of equation of a circle? So general form of equation of a circle is going to be x squared this is a general form okay general form of equation so i have x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by plus c equals c, uh, zero that's my general form of equation of a circle a b and c are real numbers okay so let's do um one of the um, example on this and this is the example that I'm going to do they said graph the equation and you can tell this is my general form right this is my general form of equation 
So I, I'm not, I can't graph this because I can't see what my center and my radius is. So I have to change this whole equation, the general form into a standard form and then we'll see how it's going. So we, what we're going to do, we're going to group the terms involving x, group the terms involving y and put the constant on the right side of the equation. So what we're going to do, we group the axes. So I have x squared minus 6x plus, and I'm going to group the y's, y squared plus 4y. And the constant is going to go to the other side of equal, like you subtract 4 both sides, so they cancel. Okay, so we got that part. Now, how are we going to get to our standard form? By completing square. Okay, that's the next step, completing square of each expression in the parentheses uh, and remember that any number added on the left side of the equation must be added on the right side. So let's try completing squares. So I have x squared minus 6x. Now if you pay attention this is minus 6 right so completing square means you're going to divide and I'm going to use a different color. What are you going to do? Mm, divide negative 6 by 2 you get negative 3 and you're going to square that which will give me positive 9. So this is what we're going to do with the middle portion of the this. So I have plus 9 that's 1. Then I'm going to go back plus and I'll start doing with this one and this is going to give me and by the way, whatever we add here, I just said before, whatever we add here, we have to keep it on the right side too. So that would be plus 9. I moved that plus 9. Okay, I can make it red so you know I moved that plus 9. There. Now let's uh, do this. Since that's 4y, so I'm going to divide 4 by 2. It's going to give me 2 and I'm squaring, which is 4. So this is plus 4. This is also plus 4. So now this is a quadratic equation, this is a quadratic equation, and we can just simplify that, right? So what is the factor of this? Uh, we're going to look for the factors. We're going to look for the factors of x and x. Look for the factor of 9, which is 3 and 3. And if I add these 3 plus 3, I am getting 6, right? So we are okay and this is negative in the front like if you have a negative in the front and the next one is positive in quadratic equations make sure your factors are both negatives when you have the first one is negative then both factors negative but when you have positive and negative or negative and negative or positive 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 stays both factors positive but positive and negative, one negative, one positive. Negative, negative is also one positive, one negative. Okay, so this time, since this is uh, first is negative, so two factors negative. So I'm going to write x, x, 3, and 3. And you know they are exactly the same, so I'm just going to write them x minus 3 whole squared. Plus, let's try that one. Uh, again, I have two factors, y, y, and this one is going to go to 2, 2, 2. You add them, you're going to get 4. And since both of these um, signs are positives, then it means my factors are supposed to be positive, both of them. If this is positive, that's negative. Again, I'm repeating myself, but this is important and it's a quick uh, thing to do. y, y goes here, 2 and 2. So since they are exactly the same, so I'm going to write them y plus 2 whole squared. Now I'm left with this. They cancel out and I'm left with 9. So this equation is the standard form of equation of a circle with radius 3 and center 3, negative 2. So if we want to graph this equation, we can easily graph it. We I already showed you how to graph um, with the center and the radius in the first place. So I'm, I'm not repeating that. Now, the next question that we have here, it says graph the equation x squared plus y squared equal 9 and using a calculator. 
they said use a graphing calculator so I'm going to use a graphing calculator but before we use graphing calculator you know graphing calculator uh, doesn't do such thing like it's not gonna graph this the calculator but you're gonna make sure um, you have graph this equation uh, beginning by uh, begin by solving for y so I'm gonna solve this for y so subtract x squared subtract x squared they cancel out I'm left with y square mm, 9 minus x squared then the square has to go away so square root is the opposite operation of that so they cancel out I'm left with y equal 9 minus x squared square root now you're gonna graph this and this is you know it's positive and negative so I'm gonna graph this on the calculator and then you will see how I'm graphing both of these equations okay so um, let's go to the calculator okay here is the calculator and uh, I I'm using TI 84 plus C so I let me quit that let me turn it off and do all everything all together so up here down there it says on right there so I'm gonna click on that it turns on they said press any button so I'm just gonna press y equal okay anything then you go to y equal hit again and type in your equation that we had one positive one negative square root 9 minus x squared so I have a square root you're gonna go second and check the square root is uh, right there on top of x squared and it's in blue that's why I press the blue button first so x squared do you see that so yeah, I have a square root now type in 9 minus this is x and since I have that square so here is the square so that's my one equation the positive one you go down and remember we had two of those one positive one negative so the negative and you know the negative sign is right here click that then again I have a square root in 9 minus x squared okay now uh, if your window it depends on your window okay like if you go to window do you see my window is kind of negative 4 is the x minimum and the x maximum is 6 and I did the same minimum and maximum uh, y values for negative 4 and 4 then it is giving me a square screen because if you have the square screen your circle is going to come up like really good circle but if you don't do this like you just go whatever you had on the calculator with this window then probably you your circle is not going to be really a circle circle it's going to be oval shape but you, you will get the idea anyway but it depends on the window you can make a window square or you can make a window um, whatever you have it's you're gonna see it so that's what I have here and you can tell that's my positive equation and that's my negative and I'm really making a circle like a really good circle but if your window is not square then it's giving you um, oval shape but it's gonna be like something you can have a really good idea so if you guys have any questions guys and you want me to do any um, any of the calculator videos which I'm gonna do it I have several calculators that I uh, I would like to make a video of it so you can have a really good idea how we do that so um, please comment below if you have any questions I will try my best to help you out um, subscribe and like my lessons thank you so much